Hello, it's Reija and welcome to another video. Today I am going to be sharing with you my June TBR, uh, which is, well, my Translatathon TBR. And uh, before I get started with the actual TBR, I just want to go over some life updates and channel updates uh, regarding this summer, but I will leave timestamps in the description of the video so you can uh, choose what you want to watch, if you want to watch the life, life updates or not. But without further ado, let's get started. So, um, life updates, um, channel updates. First of all, I want to thank everyone uh, for subscribing recently. I did a collaborative video with the World Hoppers channel, and I will leave that video linked in the cards and down in the description, so you can check it out. I was uh, talking with a group of other booktubers who are all fantastic about underrated fantasy, and uh, a bunch of people uh, subscribed to my channel of that video, so thank you so much. Uh, I've reached 800 subscribers. I am very uh, happy and thankful for that, so uh, thank you for your trust. And uh, yeah, that's the big like channel thing. Um, another thing is that because there has been um, a personal development, um, I am taking a break from doing the TBR game. I'm taking a break from Bookboard for the months of June and July. Um, the reason being is that um, a couple weeks ago, um, I had to make the decision to put my cat head to sleep. And uh, it's been a real hard process of dealing with that. And I just don't feel like I can play games and just, you know... I just, I just don't feel like I can play games and do like a structured TBR because I, I, I don't know where my headspace is gonna be at any given moment. Like, I don't know what I wanna be reading or what I don't wanna be reading. Like, for example, I'm taking a break from reading hard nonfiction and uh, other books with very hard topics because it's very hard for me right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm just taking it slow. And that is also something that I'm going to do with my content as well this summer. I'm going to... I'm going to try and film things as I feel like filming them. For example, that's why my wrap-up is late uh, right now, because I just... I... I haven't had the... Uh, feeling that I'm able to, like, talk about any of the things I have been reading in, in a way that... Um, in a way that I want to be able to talk about them. So that's why now you're getting a TBR. Next week you're probably going to get a whole translator phone is still happening as normal. Uh, live shows are still happening as normal. I'm just like, uh, when it comes to like this sort of edited, manufactured content, I'm I'm taking it a bit slow because of personal things. Um, on a happier note, I graduated from school. Uh, job hunt is on the way, so yeah, um, that's also why I want to take some time for myself. I'm I want to focus on, you know, hunting jobs and. Uh, working on my portfolio, so uh, things are not really like going to be... I'm, I'm not going on a full-on hiatus, but things are going to be a little bit more quiet during the summer. Okay, so that's life updates, channel updates. Um, let's get to the TBR. Okay, so the first book that's on my Translatathon TBR is The History of Bees by Maya Lunde. This is the Finnish uh, translation from Norwegian, and this is basically a climate literary fiction with a sort of speculative element. It's like focused on three different timelines, and it's basically focusing on this idea of what bees mean to the ecosystem and also what will happen if 
we don't we no longer have them. So yeah, I've been really interested in reading this, and since it has a Finnish translation, um, I thought that I would give it a go. And uh, yeah, I I feel like you know, reading Finnish will also be good for my brain because it is easier. Uh, there will be a theme of l- lots of Finnish uh, books or like uh, translations into Finnish on this TBR, but uh, History of Bees by Maya Lunde is the first one. The next book on my TBR is Amatka by Karin Tidbeck, and this is translated to English from uh, Swedish. And this is uh, science fiction, and I don't really know much else about it. Uh, I know that Karin Tidbeck writes a lot about, like, um, sort of dystopian futures with a, with a sort of hopeful bent to them, uh, but I haven't actually read any of their work before, so I am very interested to see how I fare with this one. I know that Rachel from Kalanadi has read a lot of Karin Tidbeck and enjoyed them, I think, so yeah, I'm really interested to see how uh, I fare with this one. And this one is only uh, 216 pages, so it's not very long. So, you know, uh, a short and hopefully nice read. I'm I'm hoping that I will like it. The next book I want to read is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. This works for both the prompts to read a book with a green cover, as well as to read a book that has more than one translation to the same language. This is the translation into Finnish uh, that was done by Kersti Juva, but there is also another translation um, that was published, um, I, I want to say, in the uh, in the 50s or 40s. I'm not sure. But anyway, that, that translation was, like, completely different. Uh, like, the hobbits were called Hoppelis, and uh, there were a lot of different, like, naming conventions um, that uh, were different in the uh, original Finnish translation. And uh, the reason why Kersti Juva did this translation was that she uh, did translate the Lord of the Rings, and then, because The Hobbit obviously was a prequel to The Lord of the Rings, then they wanted to commission another translation that would sort of unify all the naming conventions and such. So um, I have never actually read the Finnish translation of Hobbit myself. I remember it being read to me as when I was a kid, but I've read the English version or original text. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, reading this. And then I have some manga to balance things out. I have uh, Sweet Blue Flowers by Takako Shimura. Um, This is a female-female romance written and drawn by the same author who did Wandering Sun, which is one of my favorite mangas of all time. And uh, this has been on my TBR for a long time and I never seem to get to it, but um, I just want to have options of reading comics if and when. I uh, I am overwhelmed by reading, like, full-on text. So yeah, uh, this is one of my choices. Then another one I have is uh, Cocoon Entwined, and this is sort of like a sapphic mystery thriller with a sort of speculative element. It takes place in this all-girls uh, school, and the speculative element is that they, the, the uniforms that the girls wear are made from a fabric that is woven from their hair. And there is a sort of mystery thriller aspect to it as well. I don't know much more about it, but I am really intrigued. And then I have Jujutsu Kaisen Volume Zero. This is basically the prequel to the Jujutsu Kaisen manga uh, by Gege Akutami. And this was... This was the volume that uh, or the story arc that Gege Akutami uh, really published before Jujutsu Kaisen was actually um, picked up by Shonen Jump. So this was the first story. Uh, but Jujutsu Kaisen, ma- the manga, actually picks up after this. And uh, originally this was called something else in uh, Japanese as well. But yeah, um, I have been really enjoying Jujutsu Kaisen, so I uh, can't wait to read this. Then I have Naondel by Maria Turchaninov, and uh, Maria Turchaninov is a Finnish 
um, author, but she is a Swedish-speaking Finn, so she writes all of her original texts in Swedish, and this is the Finnish translation of her text. Now, I could have uh, read the Swedish original text, uh, but I read Maresi in the Finnish translation, so I thought that might as well um, read Naundel in the Finnish translation as well, and if I like it enough, I can reread both of them in Swedish in a later time. And anyway, reading in Finnish is easier for me. So yeah. And finally, some non-fiction. This is um, a graphic novel, uh, non-fiction journalism about Palestine by Joe Sacco. Uh, this is translated to Finnish from English, and Joe Sacco is a Maltese-American journalist uh, who basically specializes in um, like doing a deep deep dive journalism and um, like heavy journalism uh, in the graphic novel medium and uh, basically this is, this um, goes through all about like Palestine Palestinian politics how like Palestine and Israel how the uh, situation there, how it developed historically and, and such, and I personally don't know much about the subject, uh, but I want to educate myself, so that's why I picked this up, uh, because it is, like, it is important that um, we know what's going on in the world, and uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm reading Palestine by Joe Sack. And there you have it, these are all of the books that I am planning on reading for Translatathon. I don't think that I will be able to finish all of these in two weeks, but I hope to finish at least half of them. And uh, having so many of them be graphic novels and comics, um, I feel it will be a lot of lot more easier uh, for me to do that. So yeah, these are my choices. And tell me in the comments what books are you planning on reading for Translatathon? Are you participating? And uh, yeah, let me know. And which of these books do you think that I should prioritize and which of them piques your interest the most? Uh, I would like to know that as well. And I will see you in another video, hopefully sooner rather than later. Bye bye!